everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet, it's a Christmas card. So it's about the fourth Christmas card I think I've made now. But this is using supplies from the latest Kit 12 from Paper Craft Society. So it's the Daisy May kit and it's just so adorable, all the stamped images. So I made this one during my latest Facebook Live and it was just really nice to kind of spend a couple of hours just colouring and chatting to everybody. But I thought I would put it into a YouTube video and obviously it'd be much, much quicker. So what I've got here is this kind of little flap. I just wanted to do something different with the letterbox here. So I've turned it into this kind of little flap and then you open it up and you have all that space inside which I've decorated as well to write your message. I have added berries and some glossy accents here which I didn't do during the live and I've also built up more of a cluster here with some more of the sprigs. I added the holly, I've added that onto the top of the letterbox there as well and obviously all the nouveau drops and everything are dry now as well so you can see all of that dimension and there's some fake snow as well which also comes in the kit so it's really easy to make you can use any die you want here it's kind of like a pastoral die cut so anything you have really and it doesn't have to be Christmas of course so let me show you how to make it okay so all you're going to need is two I've got these two pre-made six by six card blanks so whatever size card you want you just want two of that size and basically I'm going to stick this one over that one that will close and then this is what I'm going to partially die cut my piece on. Okay, so with this one here, you want to flip it over and you're going to work within the left hand square rectangle. Like I said, whatever size you're doing, it's entirely up to you. So this is the kit. There are also the words. It comes in a big box. You get um, coloured pencils, there's ribbons, there's all sorts in it. But I just try and condense as much as I can down into this envelope. So I've already taken bits and pieces out because I've been using them. But there's tons of papers there which I need to be using as well. But that's how the kit looks. But I'm going to be using the die first of all. So these are all the dies, so I want the letterbox die. And I want to sit it so that the bottom cut line is going to catch on the bottom of the card. And then I want this to go as close to the score line here as possible because it needs to stay partially connected, which you can see on that one there. Okay, so just going to grab a little bit of my tape. So whatever die you've got, you might have an edge die that you just cut all the way down here because this is all going to cut away. So, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you what you do here. Bring that in as close as I can, pop some tape on. I'm just gonna run that through my machine. Okay, so what you wanna do is lay it on your plate and because you only wanna partially die cut some of that die, what we want, pull this out here. So I just, whatever's between my cutting plates is what we'll cut. Now the bottom is off the card. So that bottom cut line is hanging off the bottom here anyway but I want to make sure this all here, come up a bit higher, all of this side stays attached. So I'm going to bring this up, my plate's right up as to that, just before this cut line here. All of this will cut, but that won't. So just always remember when you're doing this, whatever's in between your plates will cut, and uh, all the rest will stay attached. So I'll just run that one through. Doesn't matter about any of that because I'm going to cut it all away. So I'm now going to grab my scissors. I'm going to remove the score line and cut down to about there. And then I'm just going to kind of just join that up like so. I'm quite happy with that. I might just go in a little bit. So now I've got this piece. Okay, now I've already stamped and coloured this one here. So this is, I've coloured all of these using my Black Widow coloured pencils, but that will now just stick directly over there and you can just see where it's attached. But we'll do all that in a moment because I want to do a little bit of inking, but now that will stick behind here and then it will just wrap around the front there. Like I said, whatever your edge is here, that will just obviously wrap around the front. So I'm going to add some glue onto the back of this one here. And just make sure that can wrap around nicely and if you need to trim anything away then do so. So again whilst that's kind of drying I'm going to stick this one inside. So if yours is a six by six card then this will be five and three quarters. If they're shop brought they might be a bit smaller so you just need to cut it down accordingly. But I'm going to pop some glue on the back of this one. Again, let that dry. And then the sentiment that I decided to use inside because I don't actually think I use this on the live 
but it was from this one which I got last year and it's the Crafter's Companion, The Warm Wishes and you get lots of sentiments. I remember I bought four of them together and they're just so handy but I've also just got some new ones from Card Making Magic um, which I'll be sharing as well soon but I'll just ink that one up and this one here says have yourself a merry little Christmas Ooh. and I've just caught it so hopefully come up a bit higher try and hide the little ink mark that I just made there we go just got away with it I just knocked it just under the M there but you wouldn't know so there we go. So that's the inside of my card already. So now I need to decorate the front. So on this one here, you'll see I've got this tree bark background, which I just thought was really nice and it added some texture. So it's this one here by Craftwork Cards. Unfortunately, this one's sold out, but there are lots of companies that do similar ones. So I'm sure you'll be able to find something. And if I can find something similar, I'll link it below. But I've just put in a piece of cardstock there and I've run that through my machines. So you'll see that lovely image that I've got. And now I'm just going to tidy up the edges and then I'll just cut that down to size okay and then I've got my mat here I'm just going around there on all the edges first just getting them darker than the rest and then without re-inking I'm just going to brush over the rest so you get that dark edge and then that's slightly highlighted centre part. You can see now all that nice pattern there. So just some quick distressing. I'm going to keep the brush there because I'll need that just to distress a few more edges on the card. Now in the kit you get this lovely burlap and I've also got this just hanging around. So you'll see along the bottom there how I've got the two together. So I'm just going to Take this one away, flip it over, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape at either end on the back side. I'm going to catch it there, wrap it around, keeping it nice and straight, nice and taut, and then just trim off the excess. You get loads on here, no, I've still got tons left, and then I'm going to do the same. What I'm going to do because I struggled on the live with it sticking to the burlap so I'm actually going to stick it just a little bit further back just next to it there and then I'm going to do the same with the red ribbon Again, just trim off the excess keep that bit because it's still enough for another card now because that's quite raised and I want to attach it to my card I'm going to just add some foam pads just to kind of match the same dimension from the ribbon and then that way you won't have any kind of sinking with your card it won't dip, so putting quite a few on. You can use any, you know, you might have foam actual rolls. These are just some foam squares which I've had for a while, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit that over the top, making sure I've got a nice equal border, like so. And then that's gonna fold. Now what I did do actually during the live is just added an extra score line just to accommodate the bulk from the ribbon. So on here, so I've got the score line there, I'm just lining it up with the track, then I just went to the next one. In fact, I'll flip it over like I did there, just lining it up, like so. And then I can just carefully burnish that. And now it would just sit really nicely over your card there. So next I can now start building everything up. So I'm going to be sticking that on there. You can see how it just is so cute. And then I've got all of these bits. So I've cut everything this time because I didn't have it all, um, you know, kind of ready to go during the live. But I'm going to have a cluster of the branches, kind of like that. I'll trim off any excess. Okay, I've got a poncettia, which I didn't add during the live, but I'm going to have that back there. I'm just going to recreate the same card. I don't often do it, but I really like it and I know they're all going to get used over Christmas time so I'm going to have that one and then the robin will sit possibly there and then you get these in the kit so they're really nice 
they've got this kind of faux stitching around and you've got all kinds of ones there. So you've got Warm Winter Wishes I think I'm going to use on this one. Season's Greetings, Peace, Love and Joy, Merry and Bright, Happy Christmas which I used on the other one. So this one I'm going to have Warm Up Winter, no, let's do actually because I want it to be Christmassy still, because warm winter wishes can literally be, I could use that in January or something. Let's do Christmas cheer. And what I did, um, just with a nail file, you can get rid of any of the little pips that you might have from where it connected to the cardstock. But also, because this is a coated cardstock, if you just rough up the edges, like so, and then with that brush, without putting any more ink on it, just give you that little distressed look and it will just grip really well to the card. You'll probably see it better in the photos which just now got a little bit of a brown frame. So that will go there on some foam. I've got my hot glue gun on as well this time and then I'm going to have all these bits just the same as this. This is what I'm going to recreate. So I'm going to stick everything down and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the Nouveau drops, the glossy accents and the white on the the white faux snow because you do get this as well in the kit which is your fake snow and also what I added because I found that it went a bit translucent you could see the red from the pillar box um, underneath so I used my Posca pen over the top and it just really you know brought that kind of faux snow to life it just added that real opaque white to it so um, I'll add that as well but I'm going to, going to go and get this all stuck down now stuck down really pleased with this and then all I did was just roll all the kind of ends of the the flowers and the leaves just to add a little bit of dimension I mean I know it's going to go in an envelope and it gets a bit squashed but you'd be surprised some of it will still kind of you know roll up a bit so a bit on the holly I've got that one to go on the um, letterbox but I don't want to add it yet until I've added the snow because it's going to go over the top. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to add the snow, then the Nouveau drops and the glossy accents. So like I said, you've got it here. I'm just going to use some copy paper. And then I've just used the Cosmic Shimmer glue and I'm basically just going to colour everywhere where that white snow has been drawn in. So I'm just filling it all in got a little bit of time with this when it goes on obviously thick like I'm doing it's not going to dry straight away I'm going to do bits at a time so I'm just going to do this first I think I did also do along the top of here and along the top of the sign as well like so and then I'm just going to take this bit out here I put it in just so I remember what it is because it does come double bagged and then I'm just gonna hold this up and just sprinkle it all over tap off any excess and now you can just see all that dimension it looks really really nice so I'm now gonna carry on and add snow along the tops of the trees Again, if I bring it up, can you see it all on there? It looks really nice. But when it dries, obviously at the moment the glue's very white because it's wet, but when that glue dries clear, you then start to see some of the colouring underneath, and that's when I then went over it with my Posca pen. So I won't get around to doing that now because this is going to take obviously a bit of time to dry, but that's how I got that real opaque colour. And you can see again, if I just bring this one in, 
you just see just how fluffy that looks as well. Now another alternative to this is this stuff which I've used last year on other tutorials or projects and it's the Cosmic Shimmer fluffy stuff and you put this on and then you heat set it and it turns into a foam, like a fluffy foam, and it's brilliant for the snow effect. So, you know, if you do want to, you know, if you don't have this kit and you would like to get some snow effects, then use that, it's really nice. So now I'm just gonna clear this away and I'm gonna finish it off with the, I'm gonna stick that on now, and then add the Nouveau Drops for the berries there, which I'm using this one, and some of the glossy accents in the center of the Ponsettia. Okay, so. Just let you see inside one more time because obviously I'm going to close that up now and I'm just going to keep this flat. Someone mentioned about a peg during the live because I just put a heavy bottle on it but I'm going to keep that there because it keeps everything flat and now I can start with the Nouveau Drops. Just always make sure you've got no air in your Nouveau Drops because otherwise it will splat. I think we're good to go there. So I'm just going to there are kind of, they have been drawn in the berries but I've probably gone over a lot of them so I'm just going to just pop a couple, try and do different size blobs, some bigger than others. Do a few little groupings of threes as well, but just where all the holly leaves are. It's a real tactile card. You've got obviously the texture from the snow, you've got the dimension from the Nouveau drops, you've got the shine from the glossy accents. So that's that done and then this is the glossy accent so I'll just put a blob in the centre of the flowers just get in there like so and I also for some reason I just fancy doing the inside of the actual letterbox there it goes on very cloudy but that will dry completely clear and then I also just put two tiny little dots on the robin's eyes there and that's it so now I can pop my Holly just underneath that bit there because obviously the glue's still drying as well but that will work there. I'm going to keep the peg on for the minute I'll show you the other card again but I just bring that up again now. You see all the Nouveau drops there you can see when this dries clear there and also this will all dry completely clear. Get my light up a bit there we go it's a bit better. I think it looks so so nice so I'll bring this one over again just so you can see it better that's how it will look once I add like I said the Posca pen onto there but you can see everything dry how clear that's now gone and all of the berries you can touch them and they keep their dimension so yeah there's a couple of cards that I've made well the first cards that I've made actually using the newest kit from Papercraft Society I'll link everything below there are still this kit available well there was as I was making this this video someone said in the group actually I didn't think there was and then um, I saw that there were so I'll link it below but also at the moment there's still the subscription still open for the next kit which is kit 11 uh, kit 13 which is by Helen Griffin and it's Christmas again and it's got nutcrackers and just some really really cute Christmas the um kind of images and you can see all that in the unboxing video so that will all be linked below so you can check it out and see if it's something you'd like to receive. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye!